Hi guys, welcome to my plasma system. You're on my second screen, hence the wallpaper and uh, no bore. I have been visiting Super F7. I have been visiting virtual, in VirtualBox all kinds of Arch Linux systems like Garuda, Reborn OS, ArchBang, and so on. Some of them, unfortunately, didn't boot up, so I'll just uh, leave them alone as they do not work for me. But the point is, I'm visiting these guys because I want to check out, will the scripts work on Arch Linux? Will the scripts of ALCI work on Arch Linux, Endeavor OS, Reborn OS, Garuda Linux, and Anarchy? So these guys have been tested and they work. Um, we've done already this, this one, of course, that one as well, but Endeavor OS is maybe the first one we should have a look at. So Endeavor OS, Endeavor OS or Endeavor OS is here. The ISO is in it, I do think. So let me reboot and redo everything again, format everything again, install everything again. So we have these possibilities. Always interesting as a developer, but also as a user, is to go for the E, if not for the tab, and see what's in there. So you see that the Intel U-code, AMD U-code, Blacklist, NVIDIA, then all these lines up there. So you know, okay, so that's what I can do. And we have got a cow space of 10 gigs, which is more than enough. And then maybe this one as well, tap learn by reading and maybe writing it down and say, oh, this option works for my hardware, adding that and that to the grub. So I'm not gonna boot existing OS. I've already tested ALCI. So I'm gonna reinstall everything. And sometimes I will uh, film it because it's another Calamaris, right? Sometimes it's some, something else. Um, doesn't really interest us then. But uh, in this case, Endeavor OS created or the, the delivery system of it is, yeah, Calamaris. Voila. They have their app, their welcome app. You can do all kinds of things, but I'm just interested in this one, start installer. And then we got the option, okay, do you want to go offline and online since my system is all online. Uh, so here you get the XFCE desktop only. And here I guess you get more and more stuff. This will take a bit to install everything online, last time anyway can be my internet. So this is what you see here to the left side. We've got that too. It's all hidden away in the right mouse click in the poop, 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 poop. Open a new window. It's in the root. So computer system, go to file system, go to the root folder. Inside root folder is dot cache and inside dot cache is the Calamaris log. And that's what we're looking at. So it follows along what this does. Oh, we're in, in Dutch. Welcome in it, Endeavor, Alice, and so on. No, let's like stay in English. I, that's an option I have not activated. I want it to stay the way you want it. Anyway, English in my case. <laughs> but um, you choose the language here. And that's um, not the very last one, but it's okay. 34 is already pretty recent. And as you can see, you can change all these things, the colors and the debugging here as well. You can add and change these things. So there are many options inside Palomars. Next. Belgian, next. Here is disk, no swap. Fine. And this is where the downloading starts, right? Maybe I will take XFC. It's gonna be on the machine, I don't know. I think it's gonna be online anyway, because we made our choice so it's going to download everything the base development packages so if you think oh don't want yay i want paru or i want trizen you can actually skip that one i think and the video intel is here want it don't want it click 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 so lots of things that are coming from the not all of them but some of them are coming from of course the developments the relang from Arch ISO, the base packages you need, and then the rest, printing support and so on. Okay, 
and then we go ahead with all the rest. So the point of the video is, will we be able, if we have an Endeavor OS system, can we then build ALCI? And since you saw the logo was already on there, you already know the answer. Let's uh, pause the recording here. All right, we're done. Restart now. Done. Voila, Calamaris, thanks that uh, this great project exists. No money. Lots of service. And a delivery system that just works, gets better every year. And that's all you ask, all right? So, welcome to Endeavor OS. See you later. Let's go here. ALCI is online. We're now also having our own GitHub, which will benefit things because, right, it was uh, mixing up with Carly. So what will we build? I always take the most difficult one. Why? Well, if this works, everything works, right? So control C is um, an ISO that's already, it's the dev version, okay. So you can compare both GitHubs. But basically it's, it tells get everything from Arch Linux, get that one package from Arch Linux, one package from Celtic, and one from a local repo. So you build your own packages, put the on there, and it's gonna be on the ISO. At the same time, I want XORG, LightYM, and no, I think SDM and XFC4. A new fetch, I think, right? Some stuff. So we go to a terminal. Control Shift V. If Git is installed, you don't have to sudo pacman anything. Else you do. Let's get maybe some databases in. Minus S Y means get the databases for pacman. Up to date, cool, they were in. And then next thing is go inside the folder. So where am I? Home, this one. And there are several things to do. We are on Endeavor OS, realize where you are. You need to have keys if you want to have keys, uh, packages from Arc You need to get keys in. If you can want to get packages from uh, Celtic, you need to get keys in and the mirrors. Now, the most important thing is are we on Arch? One, yes, we are. And two, do we have Arch ISO? That's the first thing. And this is the correct version because these things change. And sometimes it's a small change and nothing really matters, right? No real change. But sometimes it has been a roller coaster. So, depends. So, the version is the correct version. 51-1, so that's cool. No need to, for that, no danger for that. But then, okay, if you wanna go building, and your building is gonna be on this particular folder, the content of that folder is gonna be uh, used. Installation scripts are ready for you here. So I can put you here. It's ready, I'm gonna build. But first, first, all kinds of things. Right, um, it's all described on our website, which I here it is. I thought I closed it. Right, procedure. There is a procedure to go to over steps um, you could do, and once it's your ten time you do it, you just do it your way <laughs> you want it. Right, it's always like that. And on the GitHub itself, on the files here is a README, so README, and Arch ISO. These two guys. If you're very first thing you're doing this, you should read them. But basically what I'm gonna do is tell the system, hey, get the keys from Eric and the team, right? Article Linux. Six keys are coming in. All the keys are in and he also knows where to get the packages. Article Linux middle list. Always the same thing. Keys, who and where. That's basically what you're getting, giving to Pac-Man now. Who and where. So the next thing is the get uh, Celtic keys. And if EA is installed or anything else, we'll just install it. 
And if not, it's gonna tell you, hey, um, you don't have an AOR helper, go install one. And that's this one. So sometimes I'm on Arch Linux systems where there's just nothing available, right? There are many Arch Linux systems there and sometimes there, there's really nothing. So that's why we have an extra script there. So now when I go and build my system, Arch ISO, pacman.conf, in here we have elements of Arco Linux, that's Arco Linux. We can install anything from there. We can install the repos from ALCI, so Calamars and all that. We need it. And we have something local. We can build our own packages and put them on our ISO for the future. And there is a chaotic AOR. So if I want to run this, Arco is, is fixed, chaotic is fixed but my local repo is not done yet. And just to have a convenient way of doing this and testing this, I have already something ready. It's just, I need to delete it and put it somewhere else. I delete the name example. So control C on the top level, home Eric, top level of your home directory, control V, F2, change the name, example needs to go. And we have ALCI local repo, and that's where it's pointing to. So everything you put in here, all the packages you put in here, and there's just one called Nemesis wallpapers, beautiful wallpapers. That's it. But you can add any to it, anything to it, and all you need to remember is update the database. So Pacman knows ah, it's there. What you also need to remember is, of course, I'm Eric. Hi, I'm Eric, right? But it all matters. If we are probably gonna go back to here, somewhere in here is my name, console find Eric, right? You can create packages and put them on your local repo. Change Eric to your own username. The folder is in your home directory with the name LCI local repo. See uploaded example. There's a copy of the local repo in your folder. Copy paste it and basically that's the name. That should be the name of your folder, but this one, where it is, that should be changed. All right, I'm set to, to actually presenter, so boom, there it is. I am building ALCI on Endeavor OS. I have my Arch ISO, I have my keys from Chaotic and the Mirrors, I have my keys from Arclinix. Boom, we're building. And we have to wait till the ISO is there, and that's it for me. I can stop the video here. You see it's gonna build just fine. There is one thing you always need to wait for actually, as it is for the four lines in the middle there. So this is the download phase, which is okay, right? But there is some four lines where you're going to check the integrity and then the conflicting files and all that. That might be something where after that you can say, all right, now it's gonna build just fine. There was one distro, however, who had gave issues with the Xoriso thing, and all it was was update the system. So the ISO I got was too old, I needed to update to a later version of it. So maybe that's uh, something to keep in mind, update your current system and then build ALCI. Let's pause a little bit. At the moment we're at the four lines I was talking about, checking keys. So, no keys loaded, problems. Checking package integrity, no problems with the packages. Loading package files, whoops, and he's off. I can't scroll back up because it's not allowed to. And it's a setting you should change here. And now I can scroll up. No, it's still putting me down every time. I can't really, it's finished. I can't scroll up anymore. I'm done scrolling up. So it's again setting advanced uh, wrong compatibility color appearance. There is a setting how far you can go. Unlimited is my choice. So you can always follow what's going on. Anyway, space and we're back at the bottom. 
and we're already in the last phase 11 of 24 let's pause the video and it's finished so the resulting ISO is going to be in here ALCI ISO def out so def out is here and that's your ISO 1.3 gigabyte and now it's time for you to to burn it or to test it out in a virtual machine and if you say mm, missing this missing that that's the moment where you go back to the drawing board here arch ISO and set packages that you're missing is going inside the packages file scroll all the way down and start typing in the end right so NeoFetch was not there, but it was, it's up here. Yeah, NeoFetch is there, but maybe you wanted to have Firefox already there. And what about GIMP? Oh, Inkscape was not there. And so on and so on. You keep adding stuff. Either they're coming from Arch which is no issue at all. Or they're coming from Arch Linux. The keys are in, the mirror is in. Or they're coming from Celtic, fine. Um, so it's all possible. But it's also possible to build your own packages, put them in your local directory, and then you have um, your own personal files with you on your future system. Don't save. All right, guys, have fun with Endeavor OS.